Let's talk about kindergarten. I'm trying to keep the intros nice and fresh, can't you tell? I believe that my kindergarten and your kindergarten are probably a lot different, okay? I bet you all the kindergarteners, kindergarteners these days have cell phones and fidget spinners, okay? Well, I have fidget spinners, okay. So yeah, let's talk about kindergarten today. Uh, last, or yesterday, I think it was yesterday, or the day before yesterday, uh, for you guys, I made an episode of call, uh, called Games I Played in Kindergarten, okay? And it's not just kindergarten, but games that I played also in, uh, you know, uh, early school days. You know, little, little me, you, beat you. And you guys actually surprisingly left a lot of comments about your stories from kindergarten or just in school in general. So I thought we would just react to some of your guys' comments and uh, read, you know, story time. I don't do a lot of reacting to comments videos because I'm not sure if you guys want them. I would love to do more reacting co comments videos. So if you guys like this episode, be sure to leave a like whenever you feel like it. Whenever you get to the point of the video, you decide I like this. Leave a like, okay? You don't have to do it now, alright? I don't want to be one of those people. So yeah, in, in this episode I mentioned, I mentioned how in kindergarten, one of my, uh, one of my stories for kindergarten is my teacher, she just started crying and I, I don't, th I don't think anyone knows why, she just like, I remember, I still remember sitting there, and we were all kind of sitting around the teacher and I, I don't know if she was reading or something like that, but all of a sudden she just starts crying. And I'm pretty sure, you know, as an adult now, I can look back and probably guess what happened. Maybe something really bad happened to her, and I don't know. I remember at the time, though, I felt really bad for her. I, and I was like, oh, God, you know? And she was such a nice, awesome teacher. One of my favorite teachers of all time still. And she was crying. It, it was crazy. Anyway, we're going to read some of your stories. Oh, here's a good one. Roses are red. Violets are purple. You thought I would say blue. But you're wrong. I was true. Bam. Got him. Uh, so this one is actually a nice comment left by Pingu, who is actually a penguin, all right? Penguins have um, YouTube channels too. So when I was a little penguin, I used to watch a lot of Dexter's Laboratory. And I was always so sassy. Oh, by the way, De Dexter, oh my god, I love Dexter. Did he get out of my laboratory? <laughs> Probably not a good impression, but it was, you know, I really loved Dexter. I used to watch it with my dad. So I watched a lot of Dexter's Laboratory, and I was always so sassy, annoying, and kind of savage. So one time, I got yelled at from my teacher, and I was savage AF, and I told her, you're fired. <laughs> and then she literally went crying after that. I wasn't allowed to watch Dexter's Lab anymore. Now, I'm trying to find the part where this connects to Dexter's Laboratory, and why you told her that she was fired. I mean, if you were, if you were to tell her to get out of my laboratory, that would have made a lot more sense. But she got fired. <laughs> maybe she was maybe she like that really got to her. She was afraid of getting fired. And you you had to do it, you little penguin. I remember when I was in kindergarten, I had an evil teacher. Every time when the teachers weren't watching, she became rude and evil. She sometimes yelled at us. One time when I refused to eat Christmas dinner, I still hate Christmas dinners. Why? There's such bomb food, bombski foods. Oh my god, I'm actually hungry now. Don't even talk about food. She didn't let me go outside before I ate all of the food on my plate. Yeah, well, I guess, you know, kids don't like eating all their food. I don't know, I mean, I'm hungry now, so like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> just kidding. I cried while eating it, and she just sat there and waited until I eaten all the food. Traumatized. I would say it's natural for kids to not want to eat all their food, but right now, like, as me as an adult now, I eat all my food. I try to, all right? One time I got in trouble for tying my shoes. Hey, you, don't tie your shoes. <laughs> I want you to trip and fall and knock your teeth out. Actually, that reminds me of a story, but it wasn't in kindergarten or anything like that. One time I was in high school. I was a freshman in high school. I went to, I just went to a new school too. And then the freaking, I stepped on the grass, which by the way, was outside of the classroom I was at. And the teacher literally screamed, uh. sorry. <laughs> the teacher literally screamed at me. She actually passed away that, that principal. Um, you know, which is sad, but she didn't have to scream at me, okay? She was very mean to students. Like, she was probably under a lot of stress, okay, given that. Because, you know, uh, most of the kids in that school were hooligans. Were freaking just little demons. I'm not even gonna lie, there was a fight every single day in that school, okay? It was pandemonium, I tell you. So yeah, I got in trouble for stepping on the grass. First time offense, by the way, and she screamed at me. I'm not even joking. In kindergarten, there was a girl who was very strong and hated me, so she threw a chair at me. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, but it's just, it's just funny the way you worded it, okay? I like limes, I eat limes, but they're green, like Mike's hair. Does that mean I eat Mike's hair? It does. You, you are actually eating my hair when you eat limes. Everyone, everyone in the world. Okay, so I was in the talent show in kindergarten, and I said I was gay. I performed, I kissed a girl and I liked it, and oh my god, I showed them. The slang kinder. 
You got him. A kid told me to draw a football on his face. I drew a heart and a cat instead. Well, you know, that's just a little prank. It's just a nice little little, little prank. You could have drawn something a lot worse, but hey, you drew you drew a heart and a cat instead. Then I got sent to the corner and they called my mom kindergarten life. <laughs> that's not even that bad. They're, he probably told on you though and was like oh, she drew on my face and I didn't say it was okay She he probably left out the fact that you know he asked you to draw a football on, on, on their face my kindergarten story We didn't have nap time. Oh, no, we did it I, I don't I think there's only one time we ever got to sleep in class It was like one time the rest of the times I slept in class. I was not supposed to okay I was like that anime character that would sit next to the window, okay? All right, and stare out because I'm the main character of, of the anime and I would stare out and I would just sleep Okay, I wouldn't pay attention, but I somehow still passed. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just read this one when I was in kindergarten I remember my classmates gluing paper Easter eggs to her hair because she wanted bunny ears I also remember one of my classmates grabbing scissors and cutting another, another student's throat Dear god, what kind of kindergarten are you in a prison or are you a kindergartner? God, you know the crazy thing is I don't know if you're being serious or not. I mean, did they barely cut their throat or did they like, uh, you know, did they cut their juggler? I have a weird pre-K story, so uh, pre uh, it's preschool, I guess? One day I was walking around the, the classroom and my kindergarten best friend uh, had basically a kindergarten boyfriend. Oh God, what is this? Is this the actual kindergartner game? They would always hold hands. One day I saw them kiss in pre-K. Now they hate each other. Oh, well, you know, they that's because they've grown up. Um, I don't know how old they are, but they've grown up and they just don't want to admit they like each other, but they do, okay? All right, it's too romantic. My kindergarten story. I love the read more comments, guys. I poked someone's plushie attached to their backpack and got in trouble for it. Bam! Thug life. In kindergarten, I grabbed scissors. Okay, if, if this follows by I cut someone's throat, then we know who did it. <laughs> In kindergarten, I grabbed scissors while they were doing something. I took small strands of my hair and cut it off. Oh, okay. Well, as long as it's your own hair, right? I remember the nostalgic smell of hand sanitizer and envisioned fifth fishy math. I don't think we had any hand sanitizer. I don't think that was a thing. I remember that like when that I feel like that just started becoming a thing when I was like growing up hand sanitizer and stuff like that. Everyone would just use soap. Like a normal person, you know, even I use hand sanitizer sometimes. Actually, early in school, I remember, uh, I used to call them moist toilets because I thought it said toilet on, on there, but they're called moist towelettes. These little squares, and I remember we'd get them, I think I was in fifth grade or something like that, we would get them uh, after we ate, or like with our food and stuff like that, that way we can wash our hands. It was a way to wash your hands, it's like these really good smelling towels, and yeah, I don't know, it was really cool, but I always called them moist toilets, because I really thought they said that, and I was like, what? Am I supposed to wipe my butt with this? <laughs> it's a moist toilet, guys. Okay, so this is not in kindergarten, but I swear my first grade teacher was a psycho. She literally hated everyone, and she disappeared in the middle of fourth grade. Everyone thinks that she got fired because she received so many complaints. I mean, it's true. Like, uh... I know, like, parents probably think that kids are exaggerating sometimes with their teachers, and I know that kids typically do exaggerate a lot of things, but there are some crazy teachers out there. Really, really crazy teachers out there that, like, scream at their students. I mean, take, for instance, that principal that, that screamed at me for stepping on the grass even though I've done nothing wrong. I swear I was the best student ever. I'm not even joking. Like, there's seriously some whacked out teachers out there that, that have no business being a teacher. They are actually out there, okay? I, I'm not gonna say there's a lot of them, but they're definitely out there. My seventh or eighth grade teacher assigned us so much homework, and she wouldn't grade it herself. Given she's a very nice lady outside of uh, school, but in school, I hated her guts. Later on, when I got a job, she would like, you know, she actually remembered me, and it really meant a lot to me that she remembered me, but God. She treated seventh and eighth graders like a college student. We had a 12 page essay for our final. Fine, oh my God. It's making me angry thinking about it. When I was in kindergarten or preschool, I'm from England. Uh, I brought a toy truck to it, and someone took it from the cl the cl I'm guessing classroom and licked it. <laughs> then I got really annoyed and screamed at him. Yeah, I was a strange child. So were my classmates. I mean, if I was a kindergartner, I guess I'd be really. Off I mean, I'd be I'd be offended now if someone licked my my car. <laughs> You know what I mean? I am a stegosaurus! You guys like that? You guys like that? That, that? that was funny in that video. One time in kindergarten, we were having an art thing, and there wasn't a color in the color pencils, and this one kid wanted, wanted it, so he yelled at the teacher, told her that he hated her, then flipped over the table and chairs and started to scream. Then there's me at my table still coloring like everyone else, but the kids at the table that got flipped 
in my mind I'm thinking Jesus Christ what is wrong with this kid but in reality I'm still coloring acting like I don't care at all whatsoever I should have made a meme out of that kid it would have been a hit lol so a kid's throwing temper tantrums in school yeah it's a thing I remember specifically and I think this was in seventh grade I was in a school and a kid didn't want to take off its jacket in the classroom but so the teacher I'm not even joking I'm not exaggerating the teacher proceeded and I, I think he was acting up, okay? He probably was acting up, but the teacher proceeded to rip it off of him, like, like, force the, the kid to take off his jacket by, like, you know, like, putting, take, putting it over his head. I remember he was, like, resisting, and it was just, like, what is wrong with the school? That was the same school where the teacher screamed at me. I may have said I was a freshman and when the teacher yelled at me, but no, I think it was in 7th or 8th grade. So, yeah, it was in the same school. That was the same school where there was a fight every single day, and I'm not even exaggerating even a little bit, guys. I would say it was pretty close to the real kindergarten game, okay? I wouldn't be surprised if some really crazy crap went on. Even the P teachers, man! I'm getting angry thinking about this stupid school. God. In my friend's kindergarten class, a kid pulled down his pants along with his underwear. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with kids, but they do some crazy, crazy stuff, okay? I, I really remember. I remember, okay, this is weird as crap. I remember um, going to the bathroom, and I was, it was young. I was young, okay? I was a little kid. There was this one kid that loved, oh my god, I don't even know if I want to say this. There was this kid that, uh, that would always freaking uh, open, try to open stalls and get in to people's stalls when they're using them. Like, it doesn't matter if they were going number one or number two or number th <laughs> Is there number three? <laughs> We're not gonna get into that. Um, he would he would try to like peek peep at people. It was like disgusting, and I remember that. Like it, I was scared to use the bathroom in front of this kid because he was so whacked out and crazy. What is wrong with little kids? I mean, I'm pretty sure I was a stupid little kid, but God, I mean, I wasn't that crazy. Like I'm really loving the interaction. Like there's a lot of replying to comments and a lot of stories. Holy crap! I have a story. It's a short one though. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Elena. That's me. And when she was five in kindergarten, she puked on someone. The end. It's okay, uh, Elena. It's okay, because I remember, I didn't puke on someone, but I remember I was in third grade. I remember it very specifically. I, we ate breakfast, and then we went to class, and then I threw up everywhere. <laughs> And that's basically the end of the story, but it was disgusting. I remember like, uh, I don't remember very much after that uh, But everyone was staring at me and it was very awkward. Also in the same class <laughs> In the same class I tripped over a chair and hit my teeth on uh, On the chair on the edge of a chair, you know how the chairs are, you know, it goes like this You know like this is, I hit my I hit my like I, I tripped and went BAM My teeth right on this and a girl surprisingly um escorted me like one of the girls in class I don't know if she had a crush on me or anything like that I was not into that stuff at the time but she escorted me to uh, the like the water fountain I guess I, I, I went to the water fountain I guess to wash the blood off me because I was bleeding like crazy all right now I remember that and I uh, she was a very nice girl like seriously um, usually kids are never that nice but she like went out of her way to help me out and I still remember that to this day and that was in third grade I think her name was Allison I think that was the girl's name so Allison for watching this you, 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 you really made an impact in my life, okay? I almost got grounded for saying darn it and I'm in 7th grade. <laughs> oh man, you must have some strict parents. Like, I don't even cuss, but I remember, um... I lived in the mountains at this point, okay? I've been around, I've been around, okay? I lived in the mountains and I was in... What grade was I in the mountains? God, I think I was in 6th grade. Yeah, I think I was in 6th or 5th grade. Uh, I said dang it. And a teacher got mad at me because I said dang it. They were just like, we don't say dang it over here. And I was like, okay, I, I don't think that's a bad word, but whatever. I just said, okay. Now it makes sense. Now that's why people leave comments when I say crap or dang it. And they're like, stop cussing. Kindergarten games, use of apostrophe at its best. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put the apostrophe, okay? I'll fix it. One time in kindergarten, I uh, had this guy in my class. He was pretty rude and a mean child. The teacher was lecturing another student for running off to the classroom ahead of class. I guess they were friends or something because the guy slapped his butt. I'm not even joking. He walked up to him, hit him, and was suspended. And either he had to move or his parents decided to. What? For that? I mean, you shouldn't do it, but I mean, moving over that? Either way, I met him a while ago at McDonald's and he had changed. Though, when I look at him, I remembered that moment when I was in awe of what he had done to one of my all-time favorite teachers. Oh wait, are you saying he slapped the teacher? Because that would make this a lot different. I thought he slapped uh, someone's... 
I thought he slapped his friend's butt. Is that not what happened? Okay, let's let's recap. The teacher was lecturing another student for running off uh, ahead of class. I guess they were friends or something because the guy slapped his butt. So 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 the, the student slapped the teacher's butt. I'm so confused. I'm sorry. My friend made me fall on a piece of mulch and it went into my eyes. So my teacher took me to the nurse. When I got there, she just stared at me crying and bleeding and then slapped. What? It slapped me, and for some reason, I got sent to the principal, and as you can tell, I never went back. So, let me get this straight, because according to your wording, your nurse slapped you after you got something in your eye. <laughs> She's like, get it out of there! So, my teacher took me to the nurse. When I got there, she just started, she just stared at me crying and bleeding. <laughs> what? I gotta say, I don't know what the heck happened on that day, but... <laughs> So so she's blocking okay, I would assume that you're the one bleeding for getting the thing stuck in your eye But you go to there and then she which I'm gonna guess it's not the nurse. Please. I hope to God. It's not the nurse It's a it's the student that made you fall onto the mulch that went into your eye she, They were bleeding and then they slapped you and then you got sent to the principal's office <laughs> That doesn't sound like a good day at all. Holy crap So my kindergarten teacher had a piano in the classroom because she was lit to be honest But once it was like story time or nap time or some crap when that was over She yelled at me for going under the piano when I didn't even go remote remotely close to the piano I was five and I told her that what no I didn't and she put me in timeout for arguing I still didn't know uh, who she saw under the piano because it wasn't me. Stupid teachers, okay? She wasn't very lit after that, was she, Clorox bleach? <laughs> yeah, there's those- that, that happens. You get accused for doing something you didn't do. It's never fair, okay? And all you can do is say the truth. Like, they just want you to tell the truth, right? And when you do, they don't believe you. It's like, what are you supposed to do? I tried to cut my finger off with a pair of scissors in kindergarten. Don't leave scissors with kids. I agree. That's why there's the, you know, those safe scissors that don't really cut. Okay, guys. All right, we're gonna end that episode there. I really love this. Thank you guys so much for your interaction. Um, if you guys have any more stories, leave them down below. And if you like this, you'd like to see me do some more episodes on, you know, reacting to your comments, leave a like down below. You know, remember I told you, whenever you enjoyed it, leave that like. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm BG Mike. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, maybe we'll read some more story times in the next episode. Bye, guys.